everyone. I'm back. It's been two hours. I'm gonna wash my hands really quick. Let me get a towel. Sorry about that. Okay, are you ready? All right, so it's doubled its size. See how nice and airy that is? And remember before it was a little tacky? It still is a little tacky, but not as bad as it was. We need to say that to that uh, saran wrap. We're gonna cover, cover it again. So what we're gonna do this time is we're gonna make it into a mold. We're gonna braid it. So I'm gonna put a little flour on my counter. Just lightly dust it, but you always wanna have a little pile in your corner over here. So I'm gonna pull it out. Let me get a spatula real quick. Sorry, Frank. Frank's recording everybody. Say hi to Frank. <laughs> so you just wanna scoop that out. And again, it's really important to have it a little tacky. Again, because it's it'll be too dry and you don't wanna do all this work for dry, dry bread. So, see how it's sticking in my hands? Put a little flour on it. Don't be afraid, just grab a little bit. Pat it down. Frank, can you give me that spatula thing in that drawer, in the drawer? Put some flour on your hands. Thank you. That's all you're gonna do. That's it. Push the rest of that flour away. It's, it's like a baby's bottom. It's so so soft. Got that? That's all you do. Cut it right in half. Half. And half. Set these two aside. Grab a little more flour. And you're going to roll these. These look a little small, so I think I'm gonna give them a little, little pinch. There we go. You got, you got, uh, have to kind of eye, eye it a little bit. You get used to it. So you could, you could roll it like that, but it's so much easier to do it this way. So you want them the same size. Move that flower out of the way. So after I get done um, doing this, so this is gonna be one loaf and uh, I'm gonna braid it and I'm gonna put it on my baking sheet. I'm gonna put a saran wrap on top of it again and a towel and I'm gonna let it sit for about an hour, an hour and a half. I'm gonna let it rise again as it's, you know, because it's braided. If it's getting tacky on your fingers, just uh, use use a little flour like that. That's cool. And just start braiding it. You can get the ends when you're done. Again, if it's too tacky for you, um, just put your hand in the flour. So you're gonna connect those two, then wrap that around, and connect that like that, just like a braid. You don't have to put anything on the cookie sheet. Got a nice braid. So that's gonna swell. And even when it bakes, it's gonna swell more. And then the center is for the little decorative Easter egg. Again, you don't have to use the egg. It's just for show. Kind of makes it look more like it's Easter, you know? I 
I think by hanging it like I do this way, it just it stretches better. If it's thick in the center, just wiggle it a little. If you hear snorting, it's my little, my puppy. You want it a little, little tight. You know what's funny, everybody? I love my husband with my, my heart and soul. Been married 40 years. And um, you should see him come in the kitchen trying to tell me how to cook. It's, it's way too funny. So just grab your braid and then put it here. Edge that one down a little bit. Make sure it's in a pretty circle. And we're gonna cover it. Again. Use the same saran wrap so you don't waste. And then you're gonna put a nice clean towel that you used before to uh, help it rise. I'm gonna flip this. So I wanted to keep it nice and warm. So I wanna um, put one on top and remember the one underneath. We're gonna let this rise for about an hour and a half. And in the meantime, I'm gonna get one egg, a teaspoon of water, whisk that together, and I'm gonna brush that on there before I get ready to bake it and put some sprinkles on it and stick it in the oven for 20 minutes. And there's your Easter bread. See you in a few minutes. Thank you.